Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a while since I did some posting. Life is busy. Holidays is, of course, uh, takes a lot of your time. So hopefully getting back into this game and getting started on this YouTube channel, starting with a 2025. Now, my goal this year is to be able to put more content, uh, content that's easy to follow and easy to understand. I hope it'll be easy to understand. My name is Chris Rears and today in this video to kind of pick up where I had left off months ago when we are enabling features that has easy collaboration with your M365 or Office products. And so uh, so again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, uh, today we're diving into a game changing feature that can significantly enhance your productivity and streamline your workflow. And that is the Outlook add-in for Business Central. Now I have shared this before, uh, not necessarily how to enable, but how you can utilize the Business Central Outlook add-in by creating a brand new quote based on an email and taking a look at the customer insights. Now, there is a video for that. The link is below on the, on the notes uh, if you want to see its capabilities. Now, I may touch base a little bit on that, but generally the focus in this video is to show you how to enable it, especially if you don't have any IT uh, in your team uh, that can walk you through this. And if you do, this is something that maybe they can uh, uh, take a look at themselves as well. And again, I want you to imagine seamlessly connecting your email communications with your business operations day to day. So with the Outlook add-in, you can effortlessly link your emails to customer records, track important conversations, and really manage sales activities without ever leaving Outlooks. Uh, so with that, let's go ahead and jump into it. Don't expect greatness, do my best, man, I'll take it. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. All right, so before you get started, I'm before we get started, I'm, what I'm gonna do is, is, is navigate to a setup. So if you're in Business Central, I am in my production environment. Uh, and to get started is to make sure that you have um, access and so admin access to your M365 uh, admin center. So uh, in many cases you would, um, if not, you may have to uh, work with your IT administrator and uh, 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 they can either do this for you, a portion of this they can do for you, uh, or if you have access to it, then you know clearly you, you should be able to do this yourself. So the first thing we're going to do is navigate to under tell me under tell me section. I'm going to search for assisted um, setup, and this will take me to a slew of options to go and set up. In this case, what I'm going to do is search for um, Outlook um, add-in centralized deployment. Now notice I've already completed this because I've done a demo on this for. Uh, other clients that I've worked with. Uh, of course, I've done this with uh, clients that all also needed this enabled as well because they weren't not um, uh, uh, maybe comfortable of doing so. So in this video, hopefully that will walk you through this as well. So I'm going to click on Outlook add-in. It's going to walk you through step by step. I'm going to say yes here because I've already done it. And so this is what you would typically see. So if I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see. Um, you can click on this link here to get some additional requirements of what a centralized deployment uh, you need uh, for you to be able to um, enable this. Now, again, I won't get into the permissions at, at, in this video. Uh, we may do that in the future videos as well and what that means for the ad, for the BC admins in your organization. So I'm going to hit click next here. Now, this is sort of a walkthrough process um, more than anything of setup. But um, but you will you will need to configure and set this up uh, uh, sometime here. So I'm going to click next here, and here are the two applications that you're going to need uh, uh, to import into your M365 uh, admin center. One is a document view, and the other is contact. Uh, insights. Contact Insights gives you information of who that contact is in the email address and uh, if they're a customer or a vendor, and you'll be able to see that information directly from Outlook. Uh, the other one's Document View, where not only you can view 
the statistics or fact box uh, for that particular contact or customer or vendor. You can also create a brand new uh, record as well. For example, creating a new sales quote or invoice and such. So I'm gonna check the, keep the box checked here. It's going to require me to download this and these come in as a zip file because they're combined, but they're technically an XML file that we would need to import into the M365 Admin Center. So I'm going to download and continue. And it should download for me right here and see I have the Outlook add-ins. At this point in time, um, what I will do is open this Outlook add-in. And uh, when you open this Outlook add-in, you would typically get two files in there. One is the contact insights.xml and the other one's document view.xml. So we'll walk through that here very shortly. Now, instead of you going, clicking done here, I would highly recommend and suggest to keep this window open because it will give you a direct link to the M365 Admin Center. Now, if you don't know how to navigate through that, it's typically harder to find. So it's be it's easier to just leave this up and then click on this uh, um, uh, link here. Now, see, there's only three steps here that's telling you. Um, so that's why I also recommend that you keep this open as a reference. So if I click on here, it's going to take me to my admin center and, uh, <clears throat> takes me directly to my admin portal and integrated apps. So if you look at here, it's going to go, uh, I need to go to integrated apps and then follow it up with custom apps. So if I go to integrate apps, which already took me there, which is awesome. And then, uh, and then upload custom apps, which is the process here. Choose upload custom apps, and then you would select those XML fi files. Now you may have to do this uh, each file uh, that you would do so. I already have that in here, but uh, the process I'll, I'll still walk you through the process here is click upload custom apps. Now this is an Outlook add-in, so in this case, choose the Office add-in, and then click the upload mani manifest file. Uh, from here, uh, once I check this here, it's going to give me an option to uh, choose that file. So I would choose file here and uh, go to my downloads and then Outlook here. Uh, then you'll see my contact insights and document view. So you have to do this two separate times. So let's go ahead and click on contact insights here and hit open. It's going to validate and it may fail because it's going to tell you that I already have this. But if you uh, don't have this, um, then it's going to allow you to continue. Um, the next step would be is to choose the uh, right uh, user. So typically it's just there are three options. One is you. Uh, the second option is a um, uh, uh, specific user group and then or the entire organization. And then after that, you click deployment and you'll have to wait for that cycle to come through. Once the cycle is finished, you will see those two um, XML here. One is the document view and then one would say business central, but it's really the contact uh, insights. You'll also see the status once it's available for you. And then sometimes can, this can take uh, instantaneously or sometimes it can take a little bit of time for that to be uh, available as well. You'll also notice there's a Microsoft Dynamics Office ad in here. This is different. This You'll notice that these two are for your Outlook and the other one's for Word and Excel. I'll get into that on a separate video. Um, this is kind of, uh, this add-in is a requirement for you to be able to interact with your records, especially edit in Excel and so forth. Um, and, and maybe deploying that with your organization. So in that case, once that's, now enabled and confirmed that you have the status okay. When you are in your Outlook, you will see now, uh, in this case, I have an example of an email here that has an attachment and as well as information. Uh, I think this is a sales order confirmation here. You will, you should have now this icon here called Business Central Once Contact Insights, and then of course new. This is the document view. The document view allows you to create um, uh, these document records here. Uh, but if I click on Contact Insights, you'll see that it'll do a pop up on the right hand side. I'm, my face is kind of in the way. Um, <laughs> let me move my face a little bit slightly to the left here. Uh, okay, so here. Um, it's going to know that this customer is um, associated to a datum 
corporation. And that is robert.towns at contoso.com. Uh, because it picked up that record as that contact is associated to this customer, is going to give me uh, customer insights. And this is super helpful to have a quick view of that record or of that customer without doing any app switching, which is basically jumping into Business Central just to get some information. In here, you can quickly get to that understand that, hey, this customer has 33 posted sales shipments, 33 sales invoices, and they have uh, you know, um, uh, two ongoing or seven open sales orders as well. So if I click on this guy, it's going to show me those seven uh, open sales order. And in the, at, this, at the same time, I can also open that, right? Directly from here without leaving your Outlook. And again, this is super helpful when you have a proper streamlined workflow. Uh, and then this could become your workflow where you are not having to jump into Business Central. Yes, you get a little bit more view from uh, in Business Central. However, this will give you maybe some quick information that you need. Now, you can also interact with this too. So right now I'm on read, read uh, only. Uh, I see this order's open. I see the total's 1,000. Uh, actually, total, including taxes, 17,000. Um, that's just tax itself. And then um, I can see all the information that I need. I can click show more as well, and I can get a little bit more information. Now I can edit this directly from here, uh, which is amazing. So I click toggle and I can add some additional information. This is a test. And maybe I wanna add a new item um, or I can add um, a comment. Maybe let's just add a comment and um, it's gonna be, um, I didn't mean to click that, but I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna put some record in there anyway. So maybe this is uh, this is a test um, only. Actually, let's do this. Ship quickly. If I know how to spell right. Ship quickly, and then that's it. I'll, I'll go ahead and just kind of back out of here. And uh, that's it. I made some quick changes. Again, you may have situations like this where your customer sends you an email and uh, you may need to update the order that they have submitted or quote they had submitted. Quickly jump into that record. Uh, they may also even reference the order. Uh, in this case, they did 10, you know, 1009. I, I should have maybe gone to that uh, uh, record here, which is this guy. And then maybe um, go back and edit this and, and so forth. But since we edit the first one, um, <clears throat> let's take a look to see if that t the change took. Um, I will let you know that this is instant. So if we were to go back to Business Central and then kind of jump into the sales order here. Um, um, again, this should be instantaneously. So this is the record that we worked on. And if I click on this guy, we should see that, yep, it took the word, this is a test. And then of course the comment is shipped quickly. Now again, see how helpful that would be for your uh, team members, your uh, yourself or many others uh, directly from here too. Um, you can create new, uh, new information. So um, again, I have a separate video of this kind of walk you through, you can even do attachments and things like that and it will automatically attach the, uh, you know, the, the, the document you may have attached, you can see it directly uh, within Business Central immediately. But in enabling that, it's fairly easy. So going into the assisted setup again, just a, a quick recap, search for the Outlook add-in centralize, go through the setup here, and, um, and then download and import into your integrated. Now, keep in mind, sometimes, again, it, it could take a couple hours. It could be quick and instant. Uh, sometimes it takes a day, uh, the following day. Um, sometimes that shows up. So just kind of uh, be patient. Keep an eye on the status here, and you should be okay. Uh, with that, again, I appreciate everyone's time joining me today and uh, more videos to come, and I appreciate everyone tuning in. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe as uh, and comment and like the video. Uh, that tells me that you are getting information out of it. That keeps me motivated to put more content and more videos out to my YouTube channel. You can also check out my website and blog. Sometimes I blog in there that may not end up making to my YouTube channel. So that is matalino.io. Uh, it's spelled M-A-T-A-L-I-N-O.io. Matalino means 
uh, cunning, intelligent, and and so forth. It is a Filipino uh, uh, word, and uh, um, you know that's. If anyone's curious, sometimes it sounds Italian, but it it, it isn't. So uh, again, I appreciate everyone's time on my YouTube channel. Thank you, and see you next time. Set a goal, you control, and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration, and if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day.